During the remainder of this video, we will concentrate on the other method of non-destructive testing offered by Magnaflux, liquid penetrant inspections. As the name implies, this method uses colored dyes that penetrate into surface cracks to facilitate detection. And similar to the magnetic particle method, we offer non-fluorescent and fluorescent options. Spot check is the trademark name for Magnaflux visible or red dye penetrant. It is ideal for field inspections of non-porous parts. It is available in liquid or aerosol form. It shows up as vivid red in daylight and it meets all major military specifications. Penetrant processing requires more steps than magnetic particle testing. All paint, grease, oil, sand, dirt, and scale must be pre-cleaned from the part with a wire brush if needed to open cracks and allow the dye to penetrate. Next, the part must be thoroughly dried so that the cracks remain unclogged. Then, dye is applied and allowed enough time to penetrate into cracks, after which excess penetrant must be removed. Then developers applied and the inspection is performed. To show you how the spot check non-fluorescent method works, we will demonstrate the penetrant procedures to inspect this weld. First, SKCS is used to thoroughly pre-clean the part. Second, the part is dried completely. This step is particularly important when using water-based cleaners because water in a crack can prevent proper dye penetration. Third, spot check SKLSP penetrant is either sprayed or brushed onto the part, whichever is more convenient for the area that needs to be covered. After letting the spot check penetrate for about 10 minutes, the fourth step is to remove surface penetrant. First, wipe with a dry cloth. Then, moisten a cloth with an approved cleaner and wipe off excess penetrant. Do not flush the surface with cleaner because this will impair testing sensitivity. A convenient alternative to cloth wipes is our new 123 cleaner wipes. These durable wipes are pre-packaged and pre-moistened with a water-based, non-flammable cleaner. Fifth, be sure the part is completely dry after you clean it. A cleaner like SKCS dries almost instantly but 123 cleaner might require some towel drying. Six, shake the aerosol can of SKDS2 developer to assure proper suspension. Hold the can about 10 inches from the part and spray in small sections. Use just enough developer to wet the part thinly and evenly. Applied properly, spot check developer forms a white layer which acts as a blotter to draw penetrant out of the cracks. Too much developer masks indications. Too little of it retards indications. The seventh step is to inspect for cracks. Large cracks appear quickly as vivid red lines. Small cracks show up as dotted lines a few minutes later. If the crack is wide and deep, the red indication will be correspondingly large. Porosity, shrinkage, lack of bond, and leaks will appear as local areas of color. If post-cleaning is desired, wipe off the developer with a dry cloth and then flush with a cleaner. If you encounter penetrant applications that require fluorescent inspections, Magnaflux Zyglo Penetrant is the solution. Zyglo is more sensitive than spot check, so it will locate smaller cracks.